hey, if you're trying to create a balance sheet for a church, uh, then you've come to the right place. Um, I know from personal experience, I am the volunteer treasurer at my church, and so uh, I know that you probably also are a volunteer uh, treasurer or maybe the pastor trying to create a balance sheet, maybe the bank or, or somebody in the congregation has asked for the church's balance sheet, and you're scrambling trying to figure out what that is. How do I fill that out? How do I produce that? And so um, that is what this video and this template are for to try to help you uh, accomplish that. And so um, this template is a free download. And so you can um, go to the description of the video below. If you don't already have the template, go grab the template um, in the link below, and then you can follow along and fill it out. Also, uh, my name is Adam Hooksema. I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub, and we help companies create financial projections. And so if you are looking for a full kind of church financial projection or forecast, um, we do have a five-year uh, church financial projection template that's more comprehensive, uh, and we can link to that in the video description below as well, so you could go and grab that if you're interested. Um, this is just the church balance sheet template, and so uh, I'm going to dive in now and show you how to fill it out. All right, so a lot of balance sheet templates are just that. They're a balance sheet, and they just have the different fields, and they don't give you a lot of context or tell you how to what to put in the different spots, and so what we did uh, was kind of separate this into two different tabs in the spreadsheet. And this first tab is our input data tab and where we just try to ask a number of questions in plain English. And uh, and if you answer those questions accurately, then the balance sheet will be produced for you automatically. Um, the other thing I'd just mention is that if uh, you may have heard the term statement of financial position for nonprofits or churches, uh, statement of financial position is just another name for a balance sheet. So you may have been asked for either um, and you're really uh, looking at the same thing here. So um, with that, let's go ahead and dive in. First thing you want to do is how much cash does the church general fund checking account have? So let's say we've got uh, 25,000 in checking. Now, how much cash do you have in other designated funds? So uh, restricted funds like a mercy fund or a mission fund or a building fund. Let's say we've got 35,000 in those restricted accounts. How much have you received in pledged donations that you have not yet received? So maybe somebody has committed, pledged um, to give, but you have not received that yet. Um, that is what you want to enter here. So let's say we've got 10,000 in pledges. And then what dollar amount of expenses have you paid for up front that haven't been used? So this could be deposits. If you're renting your space, you may have had to pay a deposit for the lease or the utilities. So you could put that dollar amount in here. I'm gonna leave that blank for now. And then do you have any other assets that you could sell in the next 12 months like stocks or bonds? Again, I'm gonna leave that blank. Um, in this case. Now, fixed assets. So do you have any land that the church currently owns? And what, what did you pay for that um, land? That's what you want to enter here. So maybe we, we bought um, a plot of land where we plan to build something. So that we paid $50,000 for it. So that's what we'll put in. Let's say we don't own a building yet. We don't own a parsonage or home. We own some furniture maybe and a church van. So we can put in the value of that. Let's say that's $25,000. And then... Um, any other fixed assets, we'll just leave that at zero. Now, depreciation, um, this is a little bit tricky, and there is a link here that you can learn more about depreciation calculations if you don't know. Um, you know probably for a church, this is not likely to be uh, the most important thing, thing to have your depreciation calculation uh, absolutely perfect, but um, uh, if you do want to put some value in there, you can do that. I'm going to leave it blank for our purposes here. And then other assets, do you have any other assets that we haven't already asked about? You can enter a value here. All right, liabilities. So liabilities are like debts. Um, so how much do you currently owe in unpaid bills to suppliers, vendors, and contractors? Uh, say maybe we owe $1,500 and some unpaid bills. Do you have any credit cards that aren't paid off in full? Uh, maybe there's a $5,000 credit card. And then any long-term loans. Um, so again, if, the, if you have a building loan, in this example, we don't have a building, but if you had a building and you had a building loan, you'd want to put in the amount uh, of that loan principal that you expect to pay back in the next 12 months. So it's not the full amount of the loan, it's just the portion that you expect to pay back in the next 12 months. That's what is what you need to enter here. And do you have any other debts? We're gonna leave that at zero. And how much you currently owe in loans to banks or other lenders? I don't know, maybe we did take a small loan from a local bank for the church van or something like that. And so maybe we have a $10,000 loan here and no other debts. And then this final question, what dollar amount of grants, contributions, and donations currently have restrictions? So if somebody, maybe you applied for a, a grant uh, from your denomination that is to uh, help send your pastor to seminary, or um, maybe it is from your denomination to help go towards your building. Uh, those are restricted grants. And so you need to put 
a dollar amount that is restricted uh, in, in here. So let's say we got a grant for uh, I don't know $15,000 to go towards the building someday and that is restricted. All right, so now we can click view and the balance sheet or statement of financial position here is automatically generated and you can see that it will uh, automatically balance and figure out your uh, net assets with, with and without donor restrictions. And so that is one key thing that is kind of your, your equity um, in the church. So again, if you uh, have any questions about this, reach out to us at support at projectionhub.com uh, or leave us a comment in the comment section of the video below and we'd be happy to try to help. All right, thanks.